Hey Sopranos fans, welcome to another episode here on Bully Whispers, and today I'm going to be giving you my top 10 low-key power moves in the series, with the phrase low-key being significant. Now obviously most of these will be fairly blatant, but the list won't include the more over-the-top examples like Tony beating up Muscles Marinara, just to show that he's still a force to be reckoned with. So, without any further ado, number 10. Have a wonderful evening. Eleven eighty four. Oh, babe. Polly leaving the enormous check for Christopher to pay. Now, Polly couldn't come in any higher than number ten on this one because it was both customary and commonplace for the new guy to pay. However, given the things that had happened prior between the two, this was a pretty big middle finger to Christopher and a not so subtle reminder of his place in the pecking order. Number nine. He was a surgeon, that's all. You gotta be on your act. Coming in at number nine, we have Furio the Beekeeper Junta in one of my favorite lines in the entire series, and it's also the reason I decided his nickname on this channel would be the Beekeeper in my episode evaluating him. Furio was basically showing him that I can hit you, I will hit you, I will do it in public, and no one will help you. Number eight. Your taste. That's Patricia. You mind? Go ahead. Now, to be fair, Doc did technically ask Phil before he took a bite off his plate. However, his fork was pretty much already there, and the look Butchie gives shows that this was an odd thing for Doc to do. Combine that with the fact that Phil had literally just slid him some cash and I think this was clearly an effort by the new boss to flex a little bit of muscle. Number seven. Give me one thousand dollars. One thousand more? Christopher said ten percent. One thousand dollars. And the beekeeper makes another appearance on the list at number seven. Spoiler alert, this won't be the last time we see him. Along with you gotta be on your hat, this is probably the most referenced line when it comes to Furio. Now, just coming in and collecting for Tony wouldn't have been enough to get him on the list, but he took an extra G for himself, although personally, and let me know if you disagree, but I think it was more Matt and Sean's fault for pulling out all of the money in front of him. Number six. <laughs> you, get up. Who? Me? Hey, Bridge and Tunnel Boy, chill out. This is probably the most low-key of all the power moves on this list, and it was effective on two levels. Not only did he get the guy to leave, but he also got to hook up with the D-girl, who was clearly quite impressed. Number five. I really like you. I like you too, honey. But it's not gonna happen. Why? Why not? For one thing, I already took his horse. So, this one is actually a combination of things surrounding the Pyomai situation with Tony and Ralph. First, Tony continued to hold his hand out for more money after Ralphie won big at the track. Then, as mentioned in the clip, he takes Ralphie's horse, and for his coup de grace, he takes Ralphie's girl. Of course, Tony ends up taking his life, but not in a very low-key manner. Number four. So you in on the bus station project? My Sharon's waiting on a number. How's he doing? Good. As I mentioned in a previous episode, I think Johnny Sack making Tony talk business while he's taking a dump is one of my favorite low-key power moves in the series. To be fair, Tony does put up a low-key fight in that he's taking a leak at the time, but I mean, come on, Johnny has to come out on top of this one. Number three. Sick. Everybody, come on. And dancing in at number three is the beekeeper in what I think is one of the most overlooked moves in the show. With Tony right there, Furio wrangles his wife and his daughter and begins trying to work his mojo. Of course, Meadow isn't impressed, but Carmella on the other hand? Number two. Mm. 
Motherfucker. If this isn't vintage Polly Walnuts, I don't know what is. Somehow he always manages to find the most irritating yet hilarious ways to get under people's skin. Now this is one I'm curious to hear your thoughts on. Do you think Tony should have done anything to reprimand Polly, even something small? Let me know down in the comments. Number one. People don't clean up after that pets. Pop this in that basket for me, will you? Ty, that was so disrespectful. And what is there to say besides that? Tony knows Chris is going to be coming in to talk about the Adriana situation, so he starts things off with that immediate show of power to put Chris in his place before they even really start to talk. Short of pulling a Vito Jr. right there on the floor and making Chris pick it up, this was a move that almost can't be topped. I'm sure I overlooked many great examples when making this list, so let me know in the comments which ones you would have liked to have seen or how you would have ordered these ones differently. Thanks for watching this episode here on Bully Whispers. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next score.